Shalom. My name is Francois Vessels and I'm going to introduce a new series on contemplative practice. The intention with this series is to explore the application of contemplative practice. In this series, we'll be exploring a number of key contemplative elements like grounding, centering, and also boundaries. These will be applied in coping with physical pain, making important decisions, managing my anxieties, living in abundance, and re-enchanting our everyday lives. In times like these, it is very important that we ground ourselves again, that we become so conscious of being rooted, rooted in something vastly beyond our understanding, that we become rooted once again in the love of God. We will base this contemplative practice, the contemplative practice of grounding, on a reading from the scripture, which we find in Ephesians 3, verse 14 to 19. I'm reading that to you. My response is to get down on my knees before the Father, this magnificent Father who parcels out all heaven and earth. I ask Him to strengthen you by the Spirit, not a brute strength, but a glorious inner strength, that Christ will live in you as you open the door and invite Him in. And I ask Him that with both feet planted firmly on love, you'll be able to take in with all followers of Jesus the extravagant dimensions of Christ's love. Reach out and experience the breadth. Test its length. Plumb the depths. Rise to the heights. Live full lives. Full in the fullness of God. In uncertain times where nothing seems to be consistent, where information of the day seems to be refuted the next, it is ever so important to be grounded, to once again be reminded of our groundedness. So how does this practice work? It's always a good idea to stand when you're doing this. But if it's not possible for you to stand up, sitting down or even lying down is equally good. If you can, take off your shoes. Stand in a quiet place, preferably somewhere in your garden bare feet on the grass so that you can feel the earth underneath you. Grounding requires a certain surrendering. And as you stand like that, you become aware of the support of the earth, of ground underneath your feet, Just surrender to that. And in that surrendering, open up to that which you might be blessed with in your becoming aware of being part of this, grounded. Just stand like that for a moment. And as you surrender to the support of the earth, of God's love, 
you might become aware of your legs pressing down upon this firmness, the support. And as you do, you might feel that you reach a certain balance and experience that as a certain calmness, a certain calmness in your core. And as you experience this calmness in your core, you might be installed with a sense of wonder. Wonder about being part of something so vastly more majestic, bigger than ourselves. In the words of Ian McNaughton in his book, Body, Breath and Consciousness, it is the sensation of grounding, the concrete sensation of the feet against the ground, that my legs and back are carrying me, even though it feels like I'm going to pieces. That is the sensation, that the ground is there, disregarding situations. All these sensations make it possible to hold the fear or any other strong emotion if you have to live it out. It gives balance, ground under your feet, a possibility to stand, a possibility to contain life, possibility to be able to differ, possibility to stay in reality on earth when things get hard or are very powerful. There's also another application for grounding. Now, as you stand like that, with your feet more or less shoulder width, not rocking to and fro, just feet calmly planted on the, on the earth, on the ground. And you become aware of being grounded, being rooted in the love of God, open to everything that He might be blessing you with. That as you stand like that, you feel that calmness, the stability, the balance in your core. You might want to visualize anything that might be holding you back that anxiety, that fear, something that at this stage is wounding you, is stealing happiness from you. Visualize that and then with your arms against your sides, slowly, in a controlled fashion, push away that thing that you want to get rid of. Slowly, very controlled, just push it away. And once your arms are extended in front of you, turn your hands so that your palms are, up, are showing to the top. And then, slowly, once again, in a very controlled fashion, just pull that with which you want to replace this inconvenience, this fear, that which you just pushed away. In a very controlled fashion, just pull that which you want to replace it with towards you, towards your core.
this then becomes a, a physical experience of externalizing any problem and replacing that problem with a preferred reality. You can repeat this. Feet, preferably bare feet, on the floor, on the ground, shoulder width apart, surrendering to the support of the earth, becoming physically, concretely aware of the support, of the stability, in the surrendering, opening up to that with which you may be blessed, experiencing the calm in your core, and then in a very controlled way, pushing any problem that you might have away from you, turning your palms up, pulling the, that with which you want to replace it slowly towards you until it's integrated in your being. This is a practice which I would recommend that you repeat at least twice a day until it becomes an integral part of your daily routine. I'm concluding by reading the scripture again. My response is to get down on my knees before the Father, this magnificent Father who parcels out all heaven and earth. I ask Him to strengthen you by His Spirit, not a brute strength, but a glorious inner strength, that Christ will live in you as you open the door and invite Him in. And I ask Him that with both feet planted firmly on love, you will be able to take it in with all followers of Jesus, the extravagant dimensions of Christ's love. Reach out and experience the breadth, test its length, plumb the depths, rise to the heights, live full lives, full in the fullness of God. Please do share this with anybody who might, in your opinion, benefit from it. Like it on YouTube and also subscribe. Subscribe to my platform there and you will receive notifications of all further videos which are posted there. May you experience all God's blessings as a physical reality for the rest of this day. Thank you.